Can Series 1 and 2 cards really compete with the big guns? I'm taking a beginner deck straight into battle against infinite rank players who use the best cards. Let's see how these early game cards hold up. This deck is built on the back of Onslaught and the doubling of power he gives to certain ongoing cards. Ant-Man is a 1-9 if you fill his lane with Onslaught. Captain America gives plus 4 to other ongoing cards in his lane if Onslaught is there. Onslaught turns Claw's 7 power into 14 into the right lane, and Onslaught also doubles up Devil Dino. Moon Girl has a similar effect with Devil Dino, especially if you play her on the last turn. And Storm just locks a location off for your opponent, while you can still get in there either with a big Devil Dino or with Claw's power. Colossus is another ongoing card that can be buffed by Captain America or can get into destroy locations. Armor is here to fight back against destroy. And Cosmo does the same thing and also fights back against certain unrevealed decks. Rocket Raccoon is here for a cheap potential 5 power. And at this point, it's a borderline requirement that my decks have Shang-Chi in them. I had to re-record parts of this video because in between recording and release, there was an OTA which updated Storm in a pretty significant way. So I'm going to show footage from the post OTA and then footage from before that as well. I'm starting at 17,495. Let's see how high I can climb. Okay, we are up against Foy. I have the lower part of my curve, Dream Dimension, is kind of awkward. I will play Ant-Man left. They have eight cards in their deck, a high-ranked player, clearly. Onslaught Citadel it is. Go with Ant-Man here, just in case. I don't know what my opponent's deck is. U.S. Agent. Altar of Death. I can get into there with... I can get into there with both Claw and Colossus. I will hold and be patient. Let's see what they're up to. Silver Sable. U.S. Agent, so it's an ongoing deck. Devil Dino left? I think it's Devil Dino left, and then a Colossus on the last turn. Man-Thing. Scorpion, so maybe this is Ajax? Could be Ajax. Do I throw the rocket away? They better have, uh... <laughs> Luke Cage. I cannot actually do Devil. So just the Colossus here. And then what is on the left? There is the Luke Cage. And I'm assuming this is a... Ajax? What is the Ajax at? One, two, three. Ajax is not large. What is worth more points? The Onslaught four, eight. The Onslaught is worth 15 points. So I get to 19. Can they get 16? I'll challenge that. If it's just the... My mighty hand. It is the Ronin. They could not get enough. And a... Really straightforward, easy win. We were assisted with Altar of Death and Colossus. The Ronin got to 13. So yes, just not enough. If we went Devil Dinosaur, that actually loses. And Onslaught coming to play on the first game. Okay, next up is Zed's. Triskelion is okay for my Devil Dino. I need to get cards out of my hand so I can draw. A lot of players will play into the revealed location. We do have priority, which means we need to draw into armor. 
And we will not do that this game, or this turn. So it will just be trying to go for priority right now, and hopefully armor is sitting on the top of our deck. If she is not, we will just have to kind of carefully game plan this out. So I think they're setting up for a Killmonger on this turn, since Agony's middle. So Killmonger right, and then you play the Deadpool middle? What kind of cook? Let's get Storm down here. Do I snap? Because getting Doctor Doom... I'm kind of cheating. This is no longer a Series 2 gameplay. <laughs> With Doctor Doom. I'm gonna snap. I don't know what deck my opponent is cooking up. It is interesting. But right now I'm pretty well positioned. I can either play Devil Dino... Maybe this is the Killmonger? No, you're not gonna Killmonger now. There you go. Okay, the death wall. Okay, that makes more sense. What a game! And in that case, maybe I should have played Storm Middle. They don't have Killmonger. Not with Marvel Boy. So they have to destroy this turn, which means they abandoned. They abandon here. So I Cosmo and Ant-Man, I have priority because they're going to want to destroy here to pull back up the Deadpool. With Doctor Doom, I can always get more power right if they had played right. And yeah, they're not going to be able to pull this back. They did have Killmonger. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. Now what do they do? Do I go Negasonic and Captain America? I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. That was a viable line. Sure, it's only adding six more points, so I get to 13, but it is destroying one of their cards. I could go Devil Dino. I could play for all lanes and play down Doctor Doom. They can't get power into Flooded, so it would really be just adding power here. I'd add nine power middle so that gets to 15 and 12 over here so they would need to add eight points and four points i mean who knows what they have in their deck with marvel boy but i think i would be leaning negasonic and captain america honestly but i was able to get two cubes out of them okay next up we have sangui Bisk Tower is the first location. I have the somewhat of a higher end of my curve, so I'm not sure what my next move is gonna be. Eight cards in deck on turn one, and we are going up against Bounce in all likelihood. We will actually get more information. That is fantastic. I think I shall play that out now. <laughs> and we are definitely going up against Bounce. I'd expect that they hold the Mysterio for last turn with Hitmonkey. Next turn will be Captain America. Okay, so I can definitely win Quantum Realm, but that would be where they play their Hit Monkey. also. Left lane, well, they're going to bounce cards as well, so they actually could get a lot of points into Quantum Realm. Opponent. Yeah, I don't like how this is set up, because turn three is Captain America, turn four right now is Moon Girl into devil dino so i would i would have an extra rocket raccoon i think at that point but when you evaluate whether you stay or go you see can you win with the cards in your hand and i just wasn't going to win 
with these cards and them being able to execute their bounce game plan, which is what that snap tells me. Okay, next up is the cat. Uh, do I get Ant-Man down now? I don't have a turn to play. They have the Wolverine avatar. That is a fancy looking uh, avatar. I will give them that. This is ongoing. Uh, let's see. They almost assuredly play into Asgard. So do I Vibranium? Do I Rocket? Vibranium is just safer. I will Vibranium. Get the Lizard down. Cosmo left. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. So this is a Flood style, I guess. There is Cap. I'll play Captain America. I need to plot out my turns. Do I fulfill here? And then I play Devil Dino and Onslaught. This is this is risky. Wind aid Very risky. Hand. Avengers assemble. But I am adding a lot of power left, which is why I'm doing this. I've just beefed up my Devil Dino. Martyr... Martyr's gonna move, potentially, as well. So I can play the Devil Dino middle. Nebula's 9, 13. I can never add that, much po that many points. Is this Legion? Legion middle is not enough. This is Legion. If you Legion me, because the reason I'm saying it's Legion is they have priority cards. And so, oh, they're fishing for the Legion. Okay. And then we should be good. Oh, they destroyed two of my cards, so I don't have... I don't have enough. Uh... I mean, this and this, right? How can they win? Doom? But Doom doesn't win because... Well, I mean, Doom could win. Oh. Good old Captain Marvel. Not good enough. I was able to assess their deck. I wasn't sure what they were doing over here, but again... This deck has two ways to buff Devil Dino. One is Onslaught, the other is Moon Girl. And this is just a classic pairing, Moon Girl and Devil Dino. Filling early in a lane is super risky. So you better make sure you have insurmountable power there. And we are up by 20 points here. This type of deck does not have a 20 point card, I mean, there aren't many decks that do. And I was able to see at some point what deck they were. And the Devil Dino play was just too strong if they had Legioned me middle, if the Iron Hat had lit, hit. And I had Moon Girl, so I know I can continue buffing Devil Dino. It can't get hit by a Shang-Chi. So I was just in a strong position. Okay, next up is Ikarito. Kiln. I can wait one more turn. Eight cards in their deck. They are a normal deck. They probably play into Kiln this turn. I'll throw Ant-Man here for now. Ah, uh, yeah, I could have played Rocket left. I'm afraid of their Demon. Oh, that is free. Okay. Do I storm now? I would have to storm right. 
I think I storm now. Yeah, I think I storm now. And they're playing hard for kiln. Mr. Negative. Negative Patriot. Okay. This is kind of nice. I see my line. But Mr. Negative is... Boy, that's why I'm not going to snap here. So these two... Well, no, 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 no. I need to play Cosmo Middle. I need to play Cosmo Middle so they can't do... Oh, boy, I want to snap. <laughs> Cosmo Middle. I'm not going to snap. Behold my mighty hand. Okay, they see I have an onslaught. So I actually don't need more power right. So I think it's Captain America and Onslaught. Avenger. Mr. Fantastic, though, they run Iron Man and... Mystique and all this nonsense. So that's why I'm not snapping. If that blue marvel went over here, that would have been something. Do they have Mystique? So I play this way. I was thinking I would just play the Onslaught to get more power from the Captain America. But I think this is what I do and see... They did not have to have the cards they needed. They retreated later. They were gambling on the blue marvel going right. That was their win condition. I kept saying I wanted to snap. The more you use a deck, the better you would be at confidently snapping. I have not used a series two deck in a while. So my snap and retreat knowledge is a tad rusty. But I was speaking through why I wanted to snap. I felt like I was in a very strong position, especially with Storm coming down on four. The Cosmo middle means they couldn't do some kind of Zola or they have Patreon in their deck, a uh, Ultron. So we kind of had them boxed in because of the Storm and Cosmo combo, which is why I wanted to snap. That's pretty strong, especially with Kiln as well. And we are just continuing to take out infinite level players. Okay, as you can see, I climbed to 15,815. I had success with this deck. I don't think it is easy <laughs> to climb with a series two deck. You will have good streaks. You will definitely have bad streaks. It is more important, if you, especially if you are at a level where you can only play series two cards. It is very important that you just learn the game learn other decks learn what to expect learn how to snap learn how to retreat and you will get better with a deck the more you use it and it is not impossible to climb with a series two deck so this version of the deck has a lot of different pieces that kind of work together as you got to see there is, of course, the Devil Dino and Moon Girl pairing. There is, of course, the Storm and Devil Dino that used to be Jessica Jones. But now with Storm being at four cost, you need a good five cost to follow up behind her. Now, what that also means is you don't have to play in Storm's lane. You can just play Claw to the left of that. And that's how you get points into the Storm lane. And then an Onslaught. Ant-Man and Rocket Raccoon typically in this deck are going to be played in on earlier turns. So if you are facing destroy, it's important that you get your armor. It's important that you get your Cosmo. If you don't, just retreat. You have Captain America buffing up your ongoing cards. You have Colossus in there, which typically is played with Spectrum to get her buff. But in this deck, Captain America gives Colossus the bonus. Or if you have these destroy locations or Rickety Bridge, playing Colossus there is just an instant win in that lane in a lot of cases and against a lot of different decks. And so with that tiny deck wrap up, let's get to the originally shot footage that I was referencing before. Okay, next up we have Bobby Pabur. First location is Quantum Realm. That is easy enough to win with Devil Dino, assuming 
they are not an ongoing deck. Next location is Washington, D.C. Do I storm middle is the question. I think I storm middle. Storm middle. Perfect. I'm snapping because I see my line. Storm middle. Play... Ant-Man and Rocket right or left, play Claw left, and play Onslaught left. They're going to play Rocket middle. Wind, aid my and now it's just going to be, is that going to be enough? Or maybe I play Captain America instead of Rocket. So 820 points middle. Claws worth 16 with the Onslaught play, and then plus Storms 2. There is the Mist Rocket. Yeah, and Mysterio, that's just not gonna cut it. Avengers! Assemble. Ant-Man and Captain America, they are all but capped out in this lane. Just a single claw over here wins it, actually. And maybe I hedge and play like a Devil Dino right to try to go for all three lanes. Or maybe I still do an Onslaught left or even a Devil Dino left. I don't know. Maybe a Hit Monkey they could play left. That would be a lot of power. But also I need to remember Mysterio middle. The real Mysterio is probably middle. We have Nidavellir, that begs to have the basic one played, because it's just a free 5 power. Okay, they didn't quite fill. So yeah, the Hit Monkey I would expect to be coming down left. I am not running the math. <laughs> just not doing it. So it is just Onslaught here, because the real Mysterio is middle and that's 12 points middle and uh, let's just ship it this is why onslaught is here this is why all of these ongoing cards are here a uh, ton of points i think that is the mathematical term i will bounce up to 18 middle that's more than enough and so now it's just going to be one do they have hit monkey and if they do or maybe it's sage oh, my mighty is that going to be worth that much power? So the Toxin, the Silver Sable, and the... Well, they, uh, we can do the math afterwards. This is not a great play. They thought I was going for right, and I completely abandoned right. Victory. This hit monkey is worth 11 points. So if they play the 11 over here, and they also didn't have a spot per se, so it wouldn't have been just the full 11 on top of this 14, they wouldn't have been able to play the Mysterio here because the beast was here originally. So no matter how you slice it, this was just their hit monkey was never going to be big enough to win quantum realm and the power of onslaught helping us to secure two lanes and this is how you pilot the deck very carefully <laughs> focus on two lanes and learn it's all about learning how to play with a deck while i'm playing this while i've been testing and recording i've made plenty of mistakes because i'm not used to piloting a series two deck i haven't piloted one in forever but as you get used to it you can start to see your lines you can start to plot out your turns and that's when you start snapping when you go okay turn three is this turn four is this turn five is this and turn six this is how i win and that's when you snap but otherwise just retreat for one and it's going to be a very slow process of climbing but it's possible 
because I've gotten beat by people with low collection levels and other good players have gotten beat by those same players. It's definitely possible, but you have to be very focused and learn how to pilot your deck and be willing to take the losses, but learn how to gain cubes. Look at that. We have the a celebrity himself, A.A.A. Ron. I think I added one too many, but we will just breeze by that. X23. <laughs> Snap this. They can't play their destroy cards here. They can't play their destroy cards here. They can only play their destroy cards here. So we have them boxed in with the armor. And you snap before you play armor. <laughs> you, <laughs> you. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh, I don't have enough. Okay, yeah, it didn't matter. They, they knew they were hosed. They, the most they could do is play Killmonger here. And then X-23 would bounce here, which again, they can't play their destroy cards. Bounce here, they can't play their destroy cards. So this is why armor is in the deck, because depending on what level you're at, you may be facing a lot of destroy decks. It's pretty accessible and it's straightforward. It's an easier deck to play. So a lot of people play it, it's kind of popular. Having in tech for the most popular deck that you'll be facing is kind of important. And this deck definitely has armor, and in some iterations it has Cosmo. This is a losing proposition. This is not enough. So we retreat later. I did not draw Sean this game, so it is a retreat later. But I don't have Onslaught, so I am retreating. Maybe I get down Storm now. Victory. Okay. Okay, next up we have Harmony Bassoon. Do I play the Ant-Man? I will I'll hold and be patient. Let's see what gets pulled. Avengers. Captain America. Assemble. So maybe I storm middle. Armor. I don't want to get armor over Sebastian Shaw because if I draw into Shang-Chi, this almost assuredly is a. They're playing Brood right. They are no longer playing a middle. So in that case, I will do a Storm. Opponent snapped. I'm okay with that snap. There's an argument to be said that maybe I should leave. I have a decent... Oh, they played a middle. Interesting. Okay. Wind, aid my... And then what am I doing middle is the question. Oh, it's not a question anymore. <laughs> it will be Jessica Jones. So that's where they're going to play their Surfer. There is Mr. Fantastic. So this, this, and this. And then it is, we, we just have to draw into something. So this may end up being a bad stay. I have four cards in my deck, 25% chance to draw any single card. I think either Shang-Chi or Onslaught is the play. I am getting more power middle, so you figure they add two, eight, they get to 16 middle? Huh? What a... What a move. <laughs> what a move. And I have priority. So what is this? They, of course, abandoned... Oh, I have Shang-Chi. 
Duh. Do I stick this out? Duh. <sighs> and they play Power surfer controlled. right? Yeah. Okay, uh, I didn't do a good job of explaining. <laughs> so, so, let me walk you through what I was thinking. I, I was planning to either not have priority and then Shang-Chi the Sebastian Shaw because I thought they were going to play their Silver Surfer and then Symbiote Spider-Man that, but also that would have been a 50-50 with the Broodlings. But that's where I was, that's where my mind was going, or with Brood. Then I was thinking, okay, if I have Onslaught, that is a bunch of power, I think at that case, Red Guardian would have taken out Captain America. So I'm not bothering to do that math. <laughs> I don't know what would have, if, if that would have been enough points. It probably would have. Uh, I guess I'm doing the math. Negative two, so Captain America would have been one power. Mr. Fantastic would have been two. Ant-Man would have been nine. One. Plus nine is 10. Plus two is 12. Plus seven is 19. So if that math is right, then I still win with an onslaught left. But Shang-Chi, especially once they had however much power they had, 40, 50, they're definitely thinking they're safe in this lane. That's why Shang-Chi's in the deck. He was literally a 450 play, four, four cost, 50 power. Why would I not have him in the deck? And because they couldn't do Silver Surfer and Absorbing Man, we knew they couldn't beat us middle. Courtesy of the Storm Jessica Jones combo, we didn't actually need the armor power there. And we dispatched a very high ranked player. Okay, we are up against opponents. The vault shall be closing down. I guess just let's load up. Our rocket actually hits. And the reason I'm playing Rocket on turn one is because I have an early curve into armor, into Ant-Man and Captain America. This is Mysterio. I'm not gonna have many ways to get points into the vault though, since it's on the left. So that's going to be a tad difficult. Play Captain America here. Grand Central should be kind of interesting. And I honestly don't know what I would play into the vault at this point. Avengers! Assemble. That seems like a losing battle. Is this bounce? This must be bounce. Moon Girl? Yeah, because I still draw. Let me play Moon Girl over here. So I can play a Devil Dino left. That's decent. That's a decent play. So let's whip out the... What might very well be the first combo ever in the game. And that is Moon Girl and Devil Dino. So get that down. Getting a free Devil Dino or Onslaught is fantastic, right? So I do have a 50% chance at that because that's just twice as much power or more than that because of Onslaught's power. The Devil Dino Sower is getting buffed left. So is the armor, courtesy of Captain America. Is that gonna be enough power? Let's see. Okay, into Demon. That is not enough. Ooh, and we get the Devil Dino. It is too late to snap. Right is where they play their Hit Monkey. 
and I just slam an onslaught and call it a day. There's no nothing else to even think about with this. This is just a very straightforward type of game. Don't complain when those happen. But I'm not snapping last turn. They almost assuredly can't get that high unless they have a Shang-Chi. Yep, the hit monkey as expected. <laughs> and just more power because why not? That did actually reduce my dino left, but Captain America's providing that buff that dino would lose and blah, blah, blah. So that kind of equalized out having the Captain America there buffing the two and the devil dino into the onslaught combo. You got to see that. This was just a fantastic game. There is an argument to be made that maybe I should snap because they think their hit monkey is large enough. But this, this dino was eight, eight and five. That wouldn't have been a good snap because they could have done the math and say, okay, without playing a single card, devil dino would have been 10 actually, 15 points. I'm only beating that by one. So all they do is literally need to play one card of decent power and they win. So that's why it would be a bad last turn snap, especially because we were already winning with the vault and we just took it home. Okay, next up we have Mofetta. Westview, Rocket, Ant-Man, Storm and Onslaught. Okay, what deck are you? Agony. So potentially something like a kitty deck? Do I go Rocket now? Yes. Or I could go Rocket. I could go Rocket here. Or are they going to play Agony? Eh. They played the Agony down. Let's... Hmm. I'll see it through. I have Storm on the right. Nah, they did play both places. Oh, it's a Deadpool. So I need armor. And they have priority. Storm here into Jessica Jones. And then maybe I don't have oh, priority. Cool. One, two, three, four. Definitely need to change so they got rid of four cards. Wind so death is cheap enough to be played into flooding. There is Lizard. But Jessica Jones is just more points, so let's do that. Okay, they're giving that up. So now it's just ducking priority. I play Lizard middle. And then Sean middle. Or, hmm, do I play Claw? No, because if they play Zola, they have to play him over here. I'll play Claw. Okay. And I mean, this is just Lizard and Sean, right? I'm I'm doubting that it's gonna be this easy. <laughs> but we should be good, right? What are they going to do? Venom middle? Okay, we're, they were not expecting the Sean. And destroy player walked right into that one. And I could have played Sean middle. And that also would have won. So we were just very well positioned. This is the strength of Shang-Chi in the deck. And I got my four cubes. Okay, so we cracked into the top 17k. It, with a Series 2 deck, it's going to be a slow climb, and you have to be patient, and you just have to focus on improving, focus on reading your opponent, getting better at that, 
and focus on good snapping and retreating. I used a couple of different versions of this deck in the video. This one that I have on screen right now has Cosmo. There was really one flex slot for me, so in some games that was a Lizard, some games that was a Mr. Fantastic, but also Cosmo just kept coming up as I was recording and as I was testing as, boy, if I had Cosmo here instead of Mr. Fantastic or instead of Lizard, I could have won this game because there's long nonsense out there and all kinds of on reveal. So having Cosmo just be that punch in the face to gain those cubes is just very strong. Thank you to everybody who's made it to the end of the video. If you are a low collection player, let me know your, your troubles and tribulations and let me know how this deck does for you. Thank you to all the members of the channel. Until next time. Okay. Kitty and Agony. Wind aid my hand. They cannot play their kitty right. There is Claw. I'm gonna snap at this because I see my line. This is turn four, followed by Claw, followed by Onslaught. Okay, we were we were well positioned. This is how you snap. Unfortunately, they are too high ranked of a player <laughs> to give me two cubes. But we we see the line that I'm going for and claw middle. I forget left. They almost assuredly play for left. I play claw middle and then I play onslaught. Let's run the math. On uh, Claude Onslaught gives me 16, 18 points into Flooded. So that almost assuredly beats anything they can play on turn four. And then we have Middle. That is Captain America gives plus four to Onslaught and Claw. So Claw is eight. Onslaught is 11. 11 plus eight, 19. Plus three, 22, plus five, 27. So 27 points middle. You're so smart, I could kiss you right now. So ultimately they still could beat that if they have a Iron Man that's been Agent Venomed or a Mystique. But I felt like I was just in good position with the flooding coming down and with being able to put up enough points middle, especially with them having a one power Rocket Raccoon middle. Okay, we cracked into the top 7,000. Uh, 7,000. I'm confused. I'm, so I'm trying. I'm right now. I'm mulling over what this snap means. Does this snap mean they have a huge card? Does it mean they can kill Rocket? Does this mean they think they can tie with a claw and win tiebreaker? I don't know what this snap means. I'll go with I think they got my claw. Behold my mighty hand. Oh, they got a they rogue. Okay. Stop! He's already dead. <laughs> My mighty hand. 